Yep. Okay. So I'll tell you about a book. It's a novel called Babylon, and it's by Yasmina Riza. I don't. That's what I think it's pronounced like. Yasmina Riza. Um, it came out like last year, or the year before, something like that. Um, and it was uh, shortlisted for the Prix Goncourt. That's how I heard about it. And it won uh, some other French prize that I can't pronounce. Um, and I loved it. I thought it was a great book. Um, it's it's basically a dinner party that goes wrong. Fun. Which, like that alone, is always a good story. If someone ever says, I'm going to tell you about a dinner party that went poorly, you want to hear more. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's, uh, it's like a modern novel, just just came out. Uh, French, it was just recently translated. Um, it's strange. It's like a good, um, like really kind of bizarre things in the book. Um, and like the, the beginning of it reminded me of um, Mrs. Dalloway by uh, Virginia Woolf. I never read it. And it's um, Mrs. Dalloway is preparing for a party. So she's getting the flowers and going out to the shops and getting ready for this party. And in this book, like the same thing's happening. Like you're reading about kind of these mundane things. Um, but she just manages it to make, manages to make it really kind of like interesting. Like these very relatable conversations where like they're having all these people over and um, it's like the husband and wife and like well we need champagne glasses and like we'll just go get the plastic ones like, I don't I don't want to drink champagne out of a plastic like well I don't want to buy 30 champagne flutes that are glass and we're never mm -hmm. going to use them again just, yeah you can imagine having like this kind of argument and there's there's a lot of things like that. Like she's talking about, you know, should should they go out and buy these folding chairs? Um, and they're kind of like the main character is like the the wife, um, one one of the wives, um, is like really interested in like social causes. So one of the guests. That... It's actually like the neighbor. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a guest. Um, but really in that very modern, detached way. Like, they're, they're talking about getting ready for the party. And it's like, do we have the plates? Like, yeah, we got the plates. Um, do you want to sign this petition to stop grinding up baby chickens? <laughs> like, what? What do you mean? She goes, well, these baby chickens, like the males, since they don't lay eggs, they just throw them in a grinder while they're alive. She's like, oh my god. She goes, yeah, there's a petition for it. I just sign it. Just, so, like, what, what are we thinking about napkins? Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, I, I care about this cause, but like, I also care about getting this party. So, they have a party, and interesting things happen. Like, there's someone there that's like drunk and whatever. But it gets good. The party ends. The the couple leaves. They go back to their apartment. One of the characters in the book is a cat, which... You must love. I love. Yeah. <laughs> and it's sort of like an antisocial cat, doesn't get along, um, only um, responds if you speak to the cat in Italian. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So it's like an Italian cat. Um, so anyway, guy comes back over after the party. And he goes, uh, killed my wife. What? And they go, what? Yeah, they go, what? <laughs> he goes, yeah, I, I, I strangled her. And he kind of says, like, come on, let's look. And they, like, the husband and wife follow him, and they, they, they go in, and she's in the bathroom. And they're like, well, what happened? And he goes, she kicked my cat. And then I don't know. I just strangled her, and then she stopped being alive. Like, well, oh, that's what happens. Yeah, and like it's really, it's really dark because he's like, 
I don't I don't know what to do. And the wife, like the, the, the main character, she goes, "We could put her in a suitcase." <laughs> and the poor guy's like, "Like, like, are we now in an Agatha Christie novel? Yeah. Like, is that your first? Like, how, what about we call the police?" She's like, "We could take them down." back stairs <laughs> where are we right now yeah um, and then like you go through um, like the argument they have this long it kind of goes back before the strangling and you like you follow them into their house the, the, those two characters and they're arguing and like the, um, kind of brings up the husband brings up kind of like the the shallowness of her convictions. Um, like they were at a restaurant, and uh, they have chicken, and she makes a point to say, like, you know, are those uh, field range? Like, what do they call it? Like, uh, open range chickens? Cage free. Cage free chickens. Yep. And the husband's like, you didn't have to ask that, because we're in a nice restaurant. Like, the only reason you brought that up is you wanted to make sure everyone else at the dinner table. <laughs> knows that you care about these chickens. <laughs> She's like, well, I really do care about the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> They're just, like, having this, like, heated argument. It gets, like, worse and worse. And finally, like, the, the, the cat comes in, kicks it, and he's like, <laughs> it kills her. Um, and it's, it's great. It's, like, so unexpected. Um, the tone has just this great, like, um, you know, it's like tenuous line between being really dark and having funny, funny moments that are hard to laugh at um, or laugh with. Um, parts of it are like really re like relatable and interesting. Um, Why is it called Babylon? Do you know? Um, I guess I don't know. Maybe I should know. I don't know. No, I... I don't know if there's some reference there I didn't know. I thought... I guess I missed it. Um, no. I will okay. say... Uh, I can look it up. I just... I did, I, I did that review of Normal People by Sally Rooney, and it's a new book that was um, long-listed for the Man Booker Prize. This is a new book, and it's long... It was short-listed for the pre court. And this book is so much better. Yeah. Like, they're, they're both good books with good stories. Yeah. And the difference is, I really feel like this um, author, Yasmina, just took chances. It was, like, more daring. Um, with how the story is told as well as the, the content. How the story is told, yeah. like, the, the, the perspectives, and um, it's really dense. Like, it's, it's a dinner party one thing and it's extreme it, it's tense uh, gripping just and you know there's these short moments in people's lives are like that they're short and intense um, the normal people book goes on for years Most people are relatively boring over the years. Yeah. And have little hot spots that are explosive. Um, so this is like one hot spot that's explosive. Um, cool. If if someone was looking for like a new book that was like notable, award winning, that kind of thing, um, I would highly recommend this over normal people. It's just much more exciting book. They're both good. This one's better. Cool. Um, I don't want to talk about the ending, but uh, great setup. Um, and she actually did, she's a, a play, she did a, a play. Um, they, they adapted some, one of her things for a movie. There's a movie called Carnage. Um, I think like Christopher Waltz is in it. Um, I, think, I think it's directed by Roman Polanski. Cool. Um, he's like, you know, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like, even the, the movie was great. Actually, like, the, the, the play or the movie um, kind of reminded me of this, like, almost as if um, 
she like novelized a play. Um, Good drama. Yeah, dramatic. Really, yep. yeah. Um, I guess I'll just say that. I mean, it's um, it's it was it's like a, a fun, short, cheap, and cheerful read. Awesome. Um, so leave some comments if you'd like. Um, and thank you for watching.